Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're asked to differentiate the function f of z equals a plus bz plus cz squared all over z squared. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to separate this into three separate fractions. So what we can do is f of z equals a over z squared plus bz over z squared plus cz squared over z squared. And this is going to make it easier to find the derivative. First, we want to get it in the form of a power function. So here we have f of z equals. If you have a exponent in the denominator and you want to bring it to the numerator, all you have to do is multiply by negative 1. So you have a, make that a little bit clearer, a, and bringing z squared into the numerator, z to the negative 2, plus can't do that here because we have one in the numerator and the denominator. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to use the quotient rule. So if you think of this as b times z to the 1, then we are getting the coefficient out first. We can think of this as so we, we're dividing them, so we subtract the exponents. So this is b times z to the 1 minus 2 plus c. Same thing here. Dividing them, subtract the exponents, z to the 2 minus 2. This is basically saving one step. If you were to bring z to the 2 up into the exponent, up into the numerator, you multiply by negative 1, which is where you get this negative 2. This is just a little bit faster, a little bit easier to think about it that way. Right here we have a times z to the negative 2 plus b times z to the 1 minus 2 is negative 1 plus c times z to the 2 minus 2 is 0. z to the 0, anything to the 0 is just 1. So it's c times 1, so it's just c. Now to find our derivative, we can use our power function rules. For this first term, our coefficient is a, so we get that out first. We bring our exponent down into the coefficient, and then our new exponent is the old one, minus 1. Same thing with this term, plus b, get the coefficient out first. Bring down your exponent, times negative 1, times z, the old exponent, minus 1. One last step, simplify this, get it clearer. a times negative 2 is negative 2a, z to the negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, plus b minus 1, plus b times negative 1 is minus b, times z to the negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. The derivative of a constant is just 0, I should have mentioned that, so that's why we're not, we're just ignoring the plus 0 here, because this is going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.